Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to do embossed filigree. And you can do this on top of acrylics or gel polish. So today I'm going to do it on top of gel polish. This is a black nail that has been cured. I am using Luxa Shine. It is a no wipe top coat. And you just want to put a thin layer and then just cure that for 60 seconds in an LED or two minutes in a UV. So I know a lot of you have been asking what I've been using and here it is. It is Luxa Matte and Luxa Shine. This is a UV and LED compatible soak off gel top coat. So you can use this on top of gel polish, hard gels, and even acrylics. The store will be opening soon. So go to luxapolish.com, type in your email address, stay up to date on when exactly the store is going to open. I'm super excited. So it's going to be really, really soon, guys. Thanks for hanging in there. I know a lot of people have been asking about it. So you want a fine, medium to short length detail brush. I don't spend a lot of money on my um, nail art brushes just because I go through them so quickly because I do a lot of nail art so I just trim my brushes to get them how fine or how thin I want them. So it, this, if you've watched my previous video, How to Swirl for Beginners, that's a great starting point to get you to this point because we're going to be adding a little bit more with this design. So go check that out if you haven't. So now you're going to pick up your ball of white polish and figure out where you want to start your design. So I'm going to focus more on the right side of the nail for this design today. Place your ball down and lift up your brush and drag and swirl. And if the product didn't quite go exactly where you wanted or it didn't leave enough of a mark, that's okay because you can go back and touch it up later. So I like to opposite go opposite directions with the swirls so left right left right that's how I like to do it and so now I'm gonna go in and just touch up where I feel like it didn't leave that tail part of the design of the filigree so I'm just gonna touch it up and refine it a little bit more so now I'm gonna go right where the kind of the hook of the the ball part, the first ball I place down, and just lightly drag whatever polish is left over and kind of follow the first swirl halfway. If you kind of can see how I did that. And you can do all of them or you can do every other one. Whatever is pleasing to you. So now I'm just going to place another small ball and connect it and just kind of point out, like kind of flick the remainder of the polish just to give it a different shape. And you don't even have to pick up any more polish. There's enough polish that was already down that you can just flick it out. And then just add wherever you feel might be missing in you know whatever areas you feel like you want to add more to. So that looks really pretty and you can cure this if you want to just keep the look the way it is but I'm going to take it a step further and I'm going to use clear acrylic and sprinkle that over the wet gel polish. This is going to give it a very matte look and give it kind of like a textured look as well. So this is kind of like really neat design. You can do this with a lot of other designs. You don't, it doesn't have to be like a swirl or a filigree pattern. 
Um, so you just want to make sure you're getting enough acrylic on there just to get in those nooks and crannies and make sure that the acrylic is being soaked in into the gel polish. And if you need to add more, then just add more. And then once you're done, you're just going to tap off any of the excess and then cure it in, the, in your lamp for the recommended time for your gel polish. So now this is done curing, you're going to grab a manicure brush and you want to take off any of the excess acrylic that didn't cure inside the light. And there you have an embossed filigree nail. And you can do this with so many other kinds of designs. Just play around and see what you come up with. Um, this was super fun to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And this is Luxa Shine up close. This is what I use today. Like I said earlier, go to luxapolish.com if you want to check out and see when my store is going to open. I'm super excited to share that with you guys. I hope you like this tutorial. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.